Hello good people, welcome back to my YouTube channel at Boys. and if you're new here, kindly don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, tell a friend to tell a friend. And on today's video, we are going to talk about dental fluorosis. Yeah, I know you're asking yourself about fluorosis, what's that? Maybe you've heard about it and maybe not, but today, hey, I'm here to talk about it fluorosis this is the discoloration of teeth yeah yeah so i know most of you know uh discoloration of teeth comes with maybe water too much chlorine or over treated water uh others say that it's salty water if the first thing when they see you they ask you where are you from because discoloration of teeth is associated with salty water Dental fluorosis happens uh, between the age of 5 to 8 years because that is when the permanent teeth are forming. Dental fluorosis is caused by ingestion of excessive fluoride during enamel formation. Enamel formation we're talking about uh, when your teeth are coming out and this one I'm talking about permanent teeth. Yeah, you know, we have these two phases of teeth formation. One is milk teeth and another one is permanent teeth. Right? Children below the age of 8 years are no longer at risk of acquiring dental fluorosis. But children above 8 years are at high risk of acquiring dental fluorosis. So, parents be keen, when, especially when your kids are brushing their teeth, kindly monitor them. Don't allow them to put their toothpaste or their toothbrush alone because most of the toothpaste we, we are using, most of them are made using fluoride. So you should be keen on the amount your child puts when he brushes his or her teeth. Discourage your child from swallowing the toothpaste because also if they swallow the toothpaste, they are at risk of of acquiring dental fluorosis so one watch out when they're brushing always encourage them to use small amount of toothpaste while brushing or when brushing uh, another thing they don't swallow the toothpaste always encourage your kid to to spit out the uh, dental fluorosis cannot be repaired the way people think that you can use turmeric, I don't know others tell you, I don't know, use this to clean your teeth, I don't know, use what to clean your teeth. First, dental fluorosis has its own disadvantages. One, it weakens your teeth. Like right now for me, I cannot just go anyhow eating, eating th hard things like sugar cane. If the sugar cane is hard, automatically I'll just say no because I know my teeth are weak. So they are at high risk of breaking. Fluorosis weakens the teeth. Uh, but there is another good advantage about dental fluorosis, which uh, I've research says that people who have dental fluorosis, they hardly get tooth disease or teeth disease. Hardly. See, Raisi Upate, Akonezi gum diseases. All the, name them or you can search all the, Mm, tooth disease people who have dental fluorosis their chances of getting tooth disease is very low i don't know why you can google more uh, another thing about dental fluorosis is actually not good the only good thing is about that low risk of getting dental uh, diseases but it has a lot of bad disadvantages like that one it weakens the teeth it discolored your teeth from others have brown teeth others are yellow others are even black now when you know is in a common on dog on dog yeah those are the disadvantages of dental ah uh, things to watch out also uh, i remember uh water always our talk by mineral water people who use mineral water kindly always check the the level of when we come to ingredients and you may to make up tenginesa check the level of chlorine used it's very very important very very 
and also for those who normally use borehole water or tap water and they feel it's not safe and they go ahead by treating it using maybe chlorine water guard name them kindly use the minimum amount of fluorine of chlorine sorry or the water guard to avoid water to avoid dental fluorosis rather here yeah. and disadvantage of dental fluorosis is they are not reversible once you are affected by dental fluorosis it's for life where's it change there is nothing you can do about it at all at all it cannot be, be fixed if it cracks or breaks if a dental tip is broken it cannot be fixed at all unlike the the normal tip the white tip if it cracks it can be fixed tooth sensitivity yeah, people affected with dental fluorosis they have tooth sensitivity now that one comes with taking cold water and hot things yeah i don't know if you've ever been affected by tooth sensitivity tooth sensitivity affects even the normal teeth but people with dental fluorosis uh, it's different it's they feel it even more yeah it's frequent let me say that yeah so, so another another way a person can get dental fluorosis is by t by uh, taking or consuming processed food which are made by fluoride water and in brackets i mean cola anything made with cola especially in excessive it can lead to one getting dental fluorosis so always check your drinks always check this processed food another place where one can get dental fluorosis is there are some tablets which are made of fluoride if you didn't know yeah now you know madawa medicine right so if you use a medicine if you overuse or you use them for quite some time medicine that are made of fluoride your chances of getting fluorosis also are high okay yeah so always check the medicines you're taking check the ingredients they are made of here yeah, to be on the safe side so it hasn't been easy growing up with the discolored teeth because if you look around almost 99 or 95 percent have white teeth and you're the only one with brown teeth and they're like hey what's up kwani you don't brush <laughs> kwani what happened why are you special but now it is what it is tulipata evil tulijipata evil and we accept the way we are and we soldier on ama vipi yeah so yeah that's basically that's about it dental fluorosis is wide you can read 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 and more about it and understand about it yeah and for anyone who is affected with dental fluorosis i know that it's not your fault yeah is if it will not even without knowing it anything made of fluoride except especially in excessive can make one to be affected with dental fluorosis yeah uh, and if you and if you have discolored teeth and it's not that extreme there are so many ways also of getting rid of the of it at home yeah i want you to know that fluorosis can be treated but not extreme fluorosis like for me i have extreme fluorosis because it affected me when i was young it affected the permanent teeth that they were coming out and they grew already discolored yes so for mine they cannot be treated unless i use this option that is called the veneers veneers that one is v double e n e r veneers yeah the veneers you can google more about it and well hey veneers are very expensive that's a very expensive procedure you can google the cost of veneers just even okay and um, let me tell you something about the veneers before i forget uh veneers this procedure is 
the way i understand it or i don't know how i can explain it to you but i can try vinyas uh, ni kama unapigwa picha ya meno yako then wanaenda wanatengeneza meno kila meno One, two, three, four, five. So, kama uko na, if you have enough money for all of your teeth, if you have 32 teeth, and all of them are affected by dental fluorosis. So, times, for example, if kama meno moja, ama jino moja, it's 5,000. Times 5,000 times 32. Yes, iyo ndiyo pesa ya kweka vinya. I don't know it depends with hospitals different hospitals with their with different prices but per tooth inenda na pesa pia so if 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 it's 10000 you google one teeth you you time sorry not google you times one teeth 10000 another one so kama ni meno mbili unataka zikwe white that one is 20k kama ni meno tatu that one is 30k kama ni ne 40k hey na idea with this economy leo nataka kufanya hivyo but maybe one day nikiwa moka i can do veneers who knows <laughs> yeah but yeah that is the best way of of treating actually not treating you ni kuwekelea tu another white teeth on top of that <laughs> this color teeth so that means there is no treatment for excess dental fluoride dile nyini extreme sorry extreme dental fluoride there is no treatment but there are ways of just maneuvering around with it unapatiwa white teeth yes so it's like they 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 make a teeth another white teeth then inaekelewa juu ya they put on top of the this colored teeth So now you know there are veneers you can google about them and their cost but I know the cost is is expensive. Hey na hii economy yetu. I don't know for those when you are moka you can try but you know they are, they are charging per tooth per tooth so if tooth kama tooth moja ni 5k or 10k yes really au kama umeamua utafanywa meno za juu na kama ni kumi unataka and kumi za chini why not i googled the cost of veneers in in kenya and i saw for two to 16000 i know charges differ according to the hospitals but hey you can google even now charges of veneers just on your phone and check what depending in your country the 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 prices okay now uh, i believe leo melan hitu about dental fluorosis and yeah even do kuna ndanga let's let's do this guy share this video comment like ask questions but missy daktari you can google more more and more and have some knowledge about dental fluorosis see you guys on my next video love you stay safe sanitize by any mask kuna corona and bye bye